Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, we will do the setup with Dipsig R1 new model, which is 0528. And also we will use this Claude Taxmaster. And also we will use this through Olama. And Olama has introduced another new feature, which is Olama can now think. And they have introduced this feature yesterday on May 30. And today is May 31st. So after one day, I am recording this video to give you the latest update, okay? and uh, after watching this video you will be a great vibe coder so let's start the video and by the way previously also i have made the video on this tax master but at that time uh, the olama support was not there but now they have given one update that this tax master can now support this olama and here you see that in my notepad i have uh, written all of the step by step process to set up this Taskmaster, you have to remember some important points during this setup so that you can get the best result. Okay, so to do the setup, I have given one repository link in the description, which is Claude Taskmaster. Go there and scroll down below, and uh, there you will find this installation steps. Okay, here you see npm install minus g taxmaster ai for the global install and npm install taxmaster ai for your local project install okay you can do any of these things but i am doing this globally and after that go to your terminal and open the project uh, that you are currently working open it on uh, in vs code okay and now just paste that command npm install minus g taxmaster ai press enter and uh, after that you have to run this command initialize a new project so for that copy this taskmaster in it copy it and go to this terminal here you see currently it is running and let me tell you one thing the current version of dipsig or after the latest uh, update in this dipsig r1 this new model 0528 have some of the new features like improved benchmark performance, enhanced front-end capabilities, reduced hallucinations, and supports JSON output and function calling. And that's why I have chosen this model for my uh, task purposes, okay? And also if you go to their, uh, this post, this is the benchmark comparison that they have posted currently. There they have uh, shown us that Deepseek R1 currently beating this Gemini 2.5 Pro 0506 which was the latest model and uh, this Gemini 2.5 Pro 0506 is the best model for coding and we have seen in the benchmark comparison with the other models but currently this Dipsig R1 new model which is 0528 is completely beating this Gemini 2.5 Pro and it is uh, having the same uh, performance like the OpenAI O3 model okay so that's why we are very much interested to use this Dipsig R1 0528 new model with this tax master so that uh, the tax gets defined in a proper way. Okay. So now it is completed this installation. Now after that paste it tax master in it and press enter. Now after that you will see some files will be created on the left hand side. Okay. Now currently I have this much files on the left hand side and uh, now if I open the source control there you will see. Okay. So now it is asking me that add cell alias for the taskmaster select no okay and press enter now it is asking do you want to continue with these settings uh, type y press enter and here you see taskmaster got initialized and some files got added in my current folder and there one important file is this uh, task here you see this tax folder currently it is empty there is no files because i have not uh, used the taskmaster now we will do the setup here you see the current version is 0.15 okay and now sometimes this custom olama model is uh, problematic through this tax master in it so that's why i will recommend you uh, to do the control plus c here okay because we will do the model setup through another comment okay and now press this control c okay And if you if your control plus C is not working, then simply press the enter and then press the control C. Okay. Now we will do the setup through another comment, which is this comment, this npx taskmaster model setup. So copy this comment from the description. Okay. And now press enter. Okay. And after that, you will see that uh, it is asking me 
to set up the current main model okay means uh, to to work with this tax master we need a main model and another one is this fallback model another one is this search model okay three model we need so we will do the setup here now before choosing the model make sure you have installed or you have uh, run this dipsy gar1 latest model through olama so for that go to this olama.com okay and uh, where is that yes and there install this dipsy gar1 and uh, here you see they have updated this dipsy gar1 to the latest update of 0528 model yesterday so you will get the latest model only if i scroll down below here you see they have also written Dipsy R1 has received a minor version upgrade to Dipsy R1 0528 and uh, uh, for the 8 billion parameter distilled model and full 671 billion parameter model. Okay, and if I scroll down below, how do you see Olama run Dipsy R1? So uh, copy it and uh, go to your terminal or command prompt and there run it. Olama run Dipsy R1 and after that we have to enable the thing option okay so for that if i take you to the block okay this it is their official block if i scroll down below here you see models that support thinking which is dipsy r1 and this coin 3 and uh, enable thinking in dipsy r1 how we can enable that so for that we have to just type hyphen hyphen thing so after uh, installing this dipsy r1 or after pulling this dipsy r1 model in olama what I have to do, just uh, write this one Olama run dipsic hyphen r1 hyphen hyphen thing. So basically, whatever comment you are copying from this uh, Olama official website, after that, just add this hyphen hyphen thing option. Okay, it may be coin3. So if you will you have to write Olama run coin3 hyphen hyphen thing. Okay, in this way, you have to enable the thinking mode. Now my thinking mode is enabled here. Okay. So this must setup we have to do after doing this setup you have to run this command what command that I have already uh, shown you so this command this npm tax master model setup now we will do the model model setup so here you see that it is asking me currently that custom open router model or custom olama model and there another interesting thing is that you can use this dipsig r1 new model through the open router also that I will tell you at the end of this video but now uh, click on this uh, down arrow key okay here do you see that one arrow is moving up and down so there is a four arrow up down right left arrow key right and uh, we have to use the down arrow and select this custom olama model and after that it is asking me that select the research model again click on this down arrow click this uh, or select this custom olama model after that select the fallback model for that also again select this custom olama model now it is asking me that enter the olama custom olama model id for the main role okay now for that you have to enter the proper model id that is currently running uh, in your olama so for that just write this one that olama list and after that you will get all of the model list that is currently running so here you see that it is the exact model id so you have to copy this model id okay dipsy gar1 uh, colon latest and just go here and paste it here and here you see that i have given one space here so make sure you have not given extra space and in that case you will get one error okay so now remove extra space and now press enter now here you see that my main model is got selected with this olama dipsy gar1 latest model with a thinking option now again paste it here this uh, dipsy gar1 latest for the search or research purpose press enter now again paste it here for the fallback role fallback means if the main model is not working then which model do you want to choose okay so you, you can use the combination between this olama or open router it is allowed here now press enter here you see model setup is completed now after this model setup got completed uh, here you see that on the left hand side under the script folder you will uh, see one file example underscore prd.txt and uh, we will generate one prd.txt for my existing project here you see under this example underscore prd.txt they have given one format like core feature user experience okay so in this way 
or in this uh, format we will generate the prd.txt for our project okay so what i will do we can use the github copilot or you can use the client for the chatting purpose so for that install this client extension and after that uh, open this client and here just uh, write that generate okay generate final prd final underscore prd dot txt file for my project like example underscore prd dot txt so use the same structure like this example underscore prd dot txt and generate the new file new prd dot txt and name it final underscore prd dot txt now press enter and now you will see that one uh, file got created in this um, this client also i am using this dipsig r1 new model from this open router or you can use it through olama it is your choice okay but the tax master is using this uh, olama with thinking option and uh, currently here this open router also supports this thinking option that's why during this api request here you see thinking is swing here you see that final underscore prd.txt file is getting created like uh, the databases and this uh, the structure and the phase one phase two all of these things the technology the stacks and all of that features now click on the save now what i will do i will use this txt file to generate the task now for that now generate task for my project using task master and this one this uh, final underscore prd.txt okay using task master and final underscore prd.txt generate the task for my existing project okay and uh, here after this you will see some task under this task folder okay. and now for that you can watch this video task master 2.0 or this task master so simply go to our channel code digit and there here you search this task master you will get the idea that how this task file will be generated and from there we can uh, execute all of the tasks one by one so please watch this video task master 2.0 and you are good to go with this uh, task master and this deep seek uh, new model okay and also yesterday i made a video on this deep seek r1 new version or new model 0528 with the client and rucor setup so please watch this video also if you want to use it through client or rucor okay and uh, if you found this video helpful guys don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and see you guys in the next video thanks for watching